Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with JGU. In today's lesson, we shall be discussing a summary and an analysis on the poem A Government's Driver on His Retirement by Onu Kingsley Shibuki. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. The background to this poem is about the nature of employment in Africa and the attitudes of workers towards work. Of course, the setting of this poem is most probably Nigeria but then its universal appeal makes its relation unlimited. Africans before the coming of the Europeans engaged mainly in primary activities such as fishing, hunting, farming and many others as a means of livelihood. Colonization brought along with it a change in livelihood or means of survival for the people. The diplomatic and lucrative representation of the civil service got many trooping in with high expectations for white-collar jobs. As with the case of most civil services today in Africa, where the nature of work is regulatory and repetitive, most workers look forward to their retirement very early. The persona in this poem similarly greets retirement with a sense of happiness and joy, for it marks a day he will attain his freedom and live without rules. Another aspect of this poem's background relates to the drink and drive culture with most people not only in Africa and Nigeria specifically, but then everywhere. In most places around the world, celebrations are marked with drinking alcohol, and too much intake often results in unpleasant experiences. Let's quickly dive into the summary of the poem. A government driver on his retirement is a 33 line narrative poem with seven stanzas. This poem has unequal lines and is written in a simple language. The poem describes the life of a government driver who has served the civil service diligently for many years and awaits the celebration of his retirement. First, the persona is described as one who has had to put up with the rules of work every day for a very long period of time, but his day of retirement marks the day he will become free. He calls on to his friends and workmates to join him in celebration. On this day, he will do the one thing his work prevented him from doing, drinking alcohol, to ease away all his sufferings. The persona becomes more joyful when a brand new car is presented to him as a parting gift for his hard work to the service. The car which is expected to be the persona's source of happiness becomes his source of doom as he dies driving his brand new car home controlled by the excessive intake of alcohol. When you take a look at this poem, you realize the poem talks about two main things. First, it talks about the life of a government driver who has served his country very well, obeying every single regulation and protocol the job presented. The second part of the poem talks about the excessive consumption of alcohol by the driver, which leads to his untimely death. This part reflects the drink and drive culture not just with the persona in this poem, but with many people who view drink and alcohol as a custom in celebration. In the analysis of the stanzas in this poem, we will find out that stanza 1 talks about the length of the driver in the civil service, how dutiful he has served his nation for a very long time. Today retires he home. He will go home today as a retired man and will celebrate this day. In the second stanza, the persona gives us an idea of the nature of his work and his perception towards work. Work according to him is filled with so many rules and regulations. He does the same work and follows the same routine every day, which can be sometimes exhausting and unexciting. The worst part of his experience as a driver is the restriction placed on the quantity of alcohol he can take, something he loves to take so much. As the persona is being described, many years has he pummeled his busy truth in obedience to duty rules and regulations. One can feel the pain of the persona as he had had to deal with the restrictions placed on alcohol intake during work time. But that wouldn't be for long anymore. He will retire on this day as a free man and will live a duty-free life. In stanza 3, we are greeted with the persona's very own words who says, Come friends, rejoice with me, I shall booze and zoom myself home. The change of narrative suggests the persona's unwavering desire to showcase his happiness as he celebrates his day of retirement. He calls his friends to come and help him celebrate. He will celebrate this day as a mark of the rest of his daily life without rules. He will celebrate this day as a relief of not waking up for early morning duties anymore 
and after 35 years of undented service to the nation, he will boost to ease away his sufferings. The last part of this stanza suggests to us that the persona is eager and the spirit to retire. Could alcohol be the only reason that pushes him towards retirement? No. The persona describes his job as full of rules and regulations, which most probably suggests that that job is a boring one for him. Earlier, we talked about the shift in livelihoods by Africans from their primary activities to working in low-rank government sector jobs and how this shift is met with great disappointment. We can infer from this that the persona is met with great disappointment too and probably doesn't like his job. As with most low-ranking public sector jobs, the meager salary he receives might just be another factor making the persona wait impatiently for his retirement. In stanza 4, the persona is given a gift, a brand new car. We learn of the heightened extent of the persona's joy in this stanza with what he is given. 35 years of faithful service merits him this gift. This suggests that the persona's dutiful services did not go unnoticed and despite the fact that his job wasn't a pleasant one, the gift brings him some form of joy as a loyal servant. The persona once again calls his friends to come and celebrate this award, to celebrate this day that makes him king of his life and free from any duties. His patience has been duly rewarded. The final stanza of this poem reveals to us the untimely death of the persona who was immersed in a pool of joy and jubilation. A celebration accompanied with the consumption of high amounts of alcohol did not give the persona a chance to see another of his retirement days. For a whole 35 years, he lived working every day with laws that guided and checked his behavior. In just one day when he finally attains freedom, he dies driving the very car that was presented to him as a gift.